When you take a closer look at the most common road problems, such as potholes, cracking, rutting, and shoving, it's generally not the asphalt itself that is to blame. It's the base. However, most common repair methods merely fill in the holes, seal the cracks, or cover it up with an additional layer of asphalt called an overlay. Over time, this accumulation eventually needs to be milled down to make room for yet another overlay. All the while, the real problem of failing or insufficient base is never addressed. So it's just a matter of time and the holes, cracks, rutting and shoving reappear in a seemingly never-ending cycle. Eventually, the road may need to be rehabilitated, requiring all of the asphalt and underlying material to be removed, hauled away, and new material to be hauled in, both of which are very costly and time-consuming. Full depth reclamation, which has been around since the 60s, is simply the process of pulverizing an asphalt surface, along with all of its holes, cracks, and ruts, into a reusable material that is uniformly blended and incorporated into the insufficient or failing base, adding both volume and structure. If even greater stabilization is required, a variety of additives such as gravel, road base, cement, or other stabilizing materials can easily be incorporated. This homogeneous mixture can now be reshaped and most importantly, recompacted, providing a more stable base. Finally, a new layer of chip seal or asphalt is applied, resulting in a more durable, longer lasting and smoother road for a small fraction of the cost of rehabilitation. Full depth reclamation has been proven to be faster, less expensive and longer lasting. Rehabilitation projects that would normally take a week or more can be done in as little as one day. Cost savings average 70% or more because of the time saved as well as from reusing existing materials in place. Best of all, now that you've solved the base problem, not just covered it up, the results will last years longer. It's just been a, a complete game changer for us. There's no other way of putting it. If we didn't have the asphalt zipper and we didn't even think about doing it that way, we would be spending a lot more money and getting a lot less done. In the past, when we were just pothole patching, you'd patch it, come back in a month or so, you'd patch it again and you just keep patching because if the patch held, then something else would fall apart around the patch. So you just constantly working in the same area doing nothing. Well, now we go in there, we can have a, you know, a block completely tore up, uh, straightened up, get the drainage where it should be, and then repaved, and we, we won't have to touch that again for 
10 years. We recently did a, the Bicentennial Road project. It was a, a half a mile at 21 feet wide. And we did the entire project in two and a half days ready for chip seal. That was reclaiming, compacting, grading it back out, putting the crown back in, getting everything ready for chip seal. Had we done that conventionally, how we used to do it on a dig out, that would have been same distance, same width, three and a half, four weeks. For every load of material you carried out, you're bringing in new material. So we were able to reuse, reclaim all the material, add a little bit of cement, ready to go. With our zipper product reclaiming our roads we have saved well over uh, through contactor prices $399,000 over what period of time over this one year period that's including our seal coat program doing it all in-house because this allows us to do it in-house zipper has paid for itself at the end of this year we figure 5,000 feet will have paid for that zipper well the way we used to do these type of projects we'd have to bring out a big excavator and chunk out all the asphalt and it would you know it would take us to do this a job like this would take us a month and a half to do something like this we did a job last fall where we only did one lane and it took us a month to get it completed with chunking out the asphalt then doing the base work and coming back and paving and we just started this project today and we'll be we'll be laying down asphalt tomorrow